It's a town three hours from Winnipeg, and for many, Verdun is in the middle of nowhere. But for two young athletes, it's a vital stepping stone to the Olympics. Every sport that you do, I mean, everybody always dreams of the Olympics. I mean, that's the big thing is, oh, I'd like to go to the Olympics one day. We started out, no, you know, in a small town, just having fun with my sport. And it just progressively got to the point is, wow, like we're doing really well here. For Paige Lawrence and Rudy Swiggers, their next stop is Sochi. I was originally born in South Africa, Cape Town, and when I immigrated with my family to Canada, everybody knows how to skate, and actually the schools used to, uh, like, that was your gym class in the winter was you'd walk down to the rink as a group of like 20, and then you'd skate for an hour, and then you'd walk back to school. And I always got to walk to the rink and sit down and watch everyone else skate. Um, so I asked my mom to enroll me in skating lessons to teach me how to skate, and um, it just kind of took off from there. I started figure skating when I was like four, just in like the can skate program in my hometown. And then when I was nine, I started training in Wawota, which is 20 minutes away from my house. And that's where I began taking from Patty. Their coach, Patricia Hole, knew that Verdon would be an ideal facility for the elite athletes. The two skaters are originally from Saskatchewan, but realized to be better, they had to move. I was originally from Kipling, Saskatchewan, Paige was from Kennedy, Saskatchewan, and we both kind of started training out of Wawota, Saskatchewan at the same time. Um, Patty, our coach back then, um, was from Verdon. And so she used to do the old um, hour drive every day to Wawota and coached us there. When Paige graduated, we kind of got word that Verdon was going to get this fantastic new facility. When she graduated, we basically started training here full time. They skate three to four hours a day, followed by three hours of off ice training. Patricia is impressed by their work ethic and knows they will do what's necessary. It's, it's a business, so I mean, you're, you're focused and you're trying to be very like serious and do your job, but you really can't help how your body reacts to the situation. And I always say that if I, if I wasn't nervous, then it means I don't care. Working as a team can be challenging at times, dealing with individual elements and in some cases injuries. It's a mental challenge to also move together as a cohesive unit. They're two complete different kids, you know, um, but I think that does work. They complement each other in where she is, you know, she, she's bossy. She likes to, she knows what she wants and what's to do. And, and you know, Rudy is, um, he, he likes to please too. But the two of them put together is, is why it has built this team. In Sochi, the team will skate two programs. First, a short program, which is just under three minutes. And second, a long program, approximately four and a half minutes. Both have required jumps, spins, and lifts. And don't forget, they also have to tell a story. In this program, Paige is a doll coming to life. We are really hoping to do two clean performances when we go down there. It isn't something that we've actually done yet this season, just because of certain things. So, I mean, I'm not apprehensive about that, but I mean, that's definitely the back of my mind. I just want them to enjoy the, the journey. Like, you know, we're going to remember all the stuff building up to the Olympics. And then once we're getting there is, is to take it all in. Our goal, I think, is 12, top 12. The thing I'm looking forward to the most is stepping out onto the ice, you know, with the Olympic rings. The opening ceremonies, it's something that everybody talks about as kind of just that surreal experience. And that's really kind of when the Olympics is going to be uh, real. Up till that point, I think it might just feel like a regular competition and then just the magnitude of it is going to hit me at the opening ceremonies. Only the pair will hit the ice, but the third member of the team will be on the sidelines learning all she can. And meet everybody from every discipline and coaches and athletes and um, come back with just lots of knowledge to be able to pass on to a small community. And this small town is happy to see their skaters hit the big time. It's just great to have that community support you. Um, people around town, like my grocer, ran, ran up to me and gave me this huge hug. It's like, congratulations, so proud of you. And I mean, this is just the woman that I buy eggs from in the morning. You know? <laughs> with this being Paige and Rudy's first trip to the Olympics, they are simply hoping for the best. And coming from small town Saskatchewan and training in Manitoba, they are honored to represent Canada at the Olympics. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Blair Malstravich.